Hello everyone, this is Matt the Speed Star here, ready to run through some more of the last story. In the previous episode, we finished up the Garak military base, defeated Zangrak's pet Marbus, and obtained the one weapon I wanted to obtain most of all, the Speed Star. I still wish it was a better weapon though, but... Oh well, I'm going to show it off in this video, but other than that, this might be the only time. Anyway, in order to progress to the next chapter, Talk to General Lastar. We're almost at Lazarus Port. Are you ready to disembark? Yes. Then let us head back. Attention, everyone. We will shortly be docking at Lazarus Port. It has been an honor sailing with you. You are all to relax and enjoy yourselves after this strenuous voyage. That is all. With a heavy heart, Zale pondered his options as the fleet approached the island. Anyway, I won't be talking for a bit of this video because there's going to be a lot of cutscenes coming up for the next chapter. Sorry to say. Oh, and uh, just so you know, chapter 18, I really don't like. Anyway, uh, aside from that, I also uh, did some alterations to the mercenaries' clothing, as you can see there. Excellent work as always, General. A wonderful result. Thank you, Milady. You lot, stop right there! Huh. What are you doing? What is this? Zail! I've discovered that this man, using the chaos to his advantage, tried to abduct Lady Callista. I also have information stating that these people helped the Garak, allowing them to steal our precious magical tomes. What? You're wrong. Uncle, they wouldn't. My poor Callista. Did they threaten you? You're safe now. No need to worry. Like hell she's safe. Throw them in the dungeon. Sir! Hold still! <laughs> what are you doing? Let me go! General Astar? You wouldn't want to tarnish your good name by defending them, would you? Zale! I hate that guy. Zale and the others protested in vain as they were taken to the dungeon beneath the castle. There, they found that Lowell and Siren had already been imprisoned. Chapter 18, Lazarus Castle, Dungeon. I see. So our little friend turned out to be the Count's niece. But Zale saved that girl's life. I'm pretty sure that kind of thing shouldn't land you in the slammer. It's that damn Jural. No doubt he's been filling the Count's head with ideas. I'll wager we're infamous throughout the castle by now. That's one way to make a name for ourselves. I got you all into this. I'm sorry. Ah, it ain't your fault. If it comes down to it, we can bust out. Oi, there'll be no busting out. It's not like the Count believes everything Jarrell tells him. But he won't ignore an accusation from his future nephew either. Which is why we have to be patient. Someone called Dagron here. The Count wants a word. What did I tell you? I'll see what I can do. Just sit tight. Well, it's up to Dagrin to try and help us out in any way he can. But, for now, just... Hold out. Callista helped us so much. I promised I'd rescue her. Now look at me. There's nothing I can do. Damn it! So yeah, remember when I said that, uh... Jarrell's a big pompous bully? Guess what? He's way more than that now. Heck, talk to some of these people here. A lot's changed here since the current count arrived. 
If anyone says a bad word against him, bang, you end up here. Oh, I miss the days of the old count. Okay, well, I oh, I wanted to talk to another guy, but I think if you talk to him, then it continues on. Are you Zale? You're gonna be questioned. Get out. Uh, here comes the part that I hate the most. Hurry up! Well, anyway, it's just a slow walk to the interrogation chamber. You can see tons of other people. And not only just people. You'll see in a moment. What's that sound? Ah, this is where we lock up the monsters we capture. There's a reptile. Sometimes we feed some unruly prisoners to them. <laughs> An ogre. Heck, there's even some Garak in there. Oh, and by the way, if you look real closely at the right, you can see Zoran. Anyway, I'm gonna be quiet here. A harsh interrogation awaited Zael. He was charged with taking advantage of the Gurak assault to kidnap Kalista and allowing the Gurak to sneak into the castle. My Lord Inquisitor, I witnessed this man and Lady Callista having a little conversation away from the ball. You seem to be on quite familiar terms with the lady. Tell me, was that the first time you liaised with her? That's... <laughs> I thought not. You've been trying to get close to her for some time, fueled by some unsavory motive, no doubt. You're wrong! I wouldn't... <sighs> The accused will refrain from speaking out of turn. He will respond only when asked a direct question. This man was ordered to take Lady Callista somewhere safe. By General Astar. At that time, there was no one he could entrust with the task. Except for that man. Hmm. But you did not see the two of them after that, correct? I know what I saw. I saw this man trying to whisk Lady Callista away. Against her will. Naturally. That's a lie and you know it! You ran off as soon as the attack started! You dare to sully my noble name. Commoner! Noble! All I see is a coward! The accused will mind his tongue! And your misdeeds certainly did not end there. You claim to have sneaked aboard a Garak warship and taken it over. If so, then why did you not simply escort Lady Callista back right away? What reason could there possibly have been to put the Fair Maiden in any further danger? That's because... Lord Giral is correct, young man. Have you anything to say? There isn't really any... There isn't really any bother choosing anything. It just... It goes the same way. So even if you at If you say Callista asked us to take her... No. If I tell the truth, Callista will get in trouble. You won't defend yourself? My Lord Inquisitor. I believe we are wasting our time trying to get the truth from this commoner. Perhaps we should proceed in a manner befitting his status. Indeed. If he will not answer, then there is only one course of action. Here it comes. This is delicious. It seems the commoner has had enough. Nothing more we can do now. Let us adjourn. Take him to his cell. Your stubbornness merely prolongs your agony. You should know your station.
Damn. Nothing for it. Come on, then. I told you. You can't handle that sword yet. I'm fine. I can do this. Not, not meaning to leave this loan screen, but I just, I have to wander... I never get why that was put in there, really. Sail. Be strong. No. Ah, looks like he's awake. Those rotten bastards. They really messed you up. I've healed you as best I can. But don't overdo it. I know, right? That guy's a complete asshole. And I'm betting he was touching himself every single time Zale got whipped there. Just, ugh! See, this guy really has it out for him just because he talked back to him once. Seriously, that is really freaking immature. And that's why I hate this chapter so much. You really get to see how he's like when he gets his way. Heck, talk to this guy here. This is who I wanted to actually talk to before. A giraffe. He's been telling everyone how he slaughtered a hundred Garak. But it's all lies. He stood at the back whimpering while we did all the fighting. He'd rather that wasn't known, so he had me thrown in here. Not a decent bone in his body. What he said, everyone. Anyway, let's talk to everyone else before we, uh... We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. We can't yield to these baseless accusations. I know, and hopefully Dagron will be able to help out. Anyway, this guy right here... You can buy weapons or appraise anything if you have anything needed appraising. But if you've already uh, gotten the appraisal from I the... I heard there's a secret place under the castle that nobody can get into. There must be some right good treasure there, I thought. So I snuck in. Of course, they found me in no time. Just what have they got hidden down there? Alright, as I was saying, if you'd already used the appraisal on General Astar's warship, then you wouldn't... Need have any need for him. Trapped in the dark with no way out. The story of my life. They just chucked us in here before we knew what was going on. Oh no, I was meant to be on a date with that noble girl. Crap! Ah, uh, I have nothing to say to that. Anyway, what you're really supposed to do is talk to this person. Haven't we met before? Never mind. What are you in here for? Well, uh... They caught me sneaking into a nobleman's mansion. Oh, a burglar. No, I am not a burglar. But my most precious treasure was taken from me. I couldn't stand idly by. I tried to deal with it lawfully, but my social status is a trifle low. They wouldn't deal with someone of my standing. I see. Sounds like we're in the same boat. You fellows too? You certainly don't seem like bad people. Maybe you could help me with something. Such as? Oh, um, uh, better to show you when the guard is gone. Anyway, that there, if you remember, his name is Horace. He runs a shop near Airless Tavern, which is very easy to get to. You just take a right and keep going till the corner, and then there is his shop. It seems like the guard has gone. But yeah, if you've not met him before, I think the conversation would be different. I don't really know. I never really, uh, bothered. So what is it? Take a look at this. I've been digging a hole. I'm an archaeologist, so I know about geology and old buildings. I thought there was something odd about this wall, and I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> we can get out of here. Well, monsters live in there, so I couldn't do much good on my own. But you look like you can take care of yourselves, so care to help? Well, if you want to progress the story, you got to. Oh, happy day! I knew you would. Let's go down there right away. I'll stay behind. Go once the guards disappeared. See you later.
Guided by Horace, the mercenaries attempted their escape. However, there wasn't much time before the guard would return. They had to make haste. I swear, all these caves look the same to me. It seems the geology of the island is such that it was very easy to dig these caves. We should hurry. Time is of the essence. And with this, we go to chapter 19, the underground tunnel. Now this chapter is a little Horace, bit of a long one. This is a dead end. Hmm, curious. I'm sure it shouldn't be. Let's take a look around. Alright, so... Dale, the guard might come back soon. We should hurry. It's dark in here, so don't stray too far from me and my lamp. It's dangerous. Alright, there's enough of that. Master Zale, there's my weapon. Just call me when you have a use for me. Got it. Look for a light on my hand. Alright. Very well. If your hand lights up, I'll be with you in a jiffy. Anyway, what we're supposed to do is... Hmm. That wall. Check these walls. What is it, Master Zale? There's something strange about that wall. Leave it to me. I'll take a look. Yes. It would be better to have Horse check it out, but you can also check it out yourself. This one, I would recommend you check out yourself. However, if you do... Ooh. Oh! It seems the explosion knocked a bag free. Now, this is a good place to actually get some money if you are running low. If you check these yourself, you can find bags at the expense of some health, which will obtain money. Uh, and which you will obtain money. Uh, how do I words? Ooh, an enchanter. Nice. But I've already got one. Anyway, there's another one around here. Hmm. Have Horace check this one out. Horace. That wall there. Now, there are some walls that you will need to check that will be passageways in order to continue on I with this area. I had a certain feeling about this wall. Call it my archaeologist's intuition. If we look around, there might be more places like this. Right. A bit nippy in here. I think it's colder further in. You alright, Moranya? I'm fine. <gasps> okay, hmm. uh... That wall. I think this one is the one you need to have Horace check out. Horace. That wall... A well here? Curious. It's just a well. That's not so weird, is it? It is, Zale. It would be difficult to use in a place like this. You're right. I suppose it would be hard to get any water through that passage. Something's a bit whiffy. Uh, really? Again, more of that joke about Zell having no sense of smell. Anyway, this one, check out yourself. Alright. Oh! Ooh. Oh! It seems the explosion knocked a bag free. Anyways, you can see, as I'm holding the Speed Star weapon, I'm moving faster. It's good if you want to get through stuff quicker, but, again, if you're, if you're mainly in battle, there's not much point in using this weapon. Which, again, really just diminishes its value a lot. And I really like this weapon, too. Oh, seems this spring is brimming with a mysterious energy. Oh, huh? I can feel all that prison grime washing away. Uh-oh. Look up. Horace! Yes? You're right! You saved me! Alright, so we know what we need to do. Now, this spider here can poison you, but that's what the uh, well's for. This well has healing properties similar to Marania's heal circle. So, yeah, if you're having trouble at all, you have this recovery spring. But there we go. Took care of that. And Sarin leveled up quite fast. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, let's uh, get that. That's good. Alright, so let's move on. Got a bunch of oh, statues this here. This is rather creepy. I agree. The decor is ghastly. Okay, uh, might 
want to not get near that. Don't worry about that. Hmm. This one, you should have Horus check out. Horus. That will... You can get something from that if you check it out yourself, but uh, a cutscene will trigger when you get in there, so don't worry. Ooh. See, you can't even open the treasure chest. What in the world is that? I'll go. Stay out of sight. This doesn't feel right. Be careful, Zael. Alright, so you see them? Check over here. That's right, these things are in fact enemies. Alright. These are stone blades. Darkness element. Hinton from the stone in the name. These monsters can petrify you if they use a certain attack. So be careful. Also, be careful with Sarin and Horus, because Sarin's weak and Horus only has two lives. But there is something about Horus, if I can get to him. Alright, just cast a prominence, cast a heal. Horus can be commanded through command mode. I believe he's the only one... Well, I, there are actually others that you can command later on during a certain chapter, but in terms of character-wise, Horus is the only other character you can use command mode with. Anyway, it's best for him to use Archer because that way he stays away from the enemies and it'll just make things easier for him. Oh! Alright, get that dodge bonus. Ah! Anyways, see there, I'm moving slower, which means I got petrified. It just happens gradually, but when it happens, it basically works the same way as paralysis and daze. Just shake, just, let me just shake that control stick back and forth, and you should be alright. Okay. Ah, uh, Sarin's down again. But anyway, this is something I never really got to mention, or I probably didn't notice. If you looked up there just real quick, Sarin's level increases as the fight's going. That's something I hadn't noticed before. I always thought it was after the battle. Anyway, Sarin got full guard. Basically the same as what, you know, Dagrin has. Just different. Actually, no, it's not different. It's the same thing. It works the same way. And yeah, Bloodsword plus one, that's a rare item. That's good. Anyway, don't go near that coffin. That's how you progress to the next area. And instead, go back here, and you can go to the save point, which I'm going to do now, and I'm going to save this for the next episode. So, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you wish to follow along this and my other Let's Plays, click the top right box to subscribe. Any concerns come up, I'll let you guys know on my Twitter. Additional info in the lower left box in the video and down in the description below. This has been Matt the Speedstar, and I'll see you guys next time when we run through some more of The Last Story. Honestly, I don't know if anyone really liked this chapter, though. <laughs>